Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about twin primes. Twin primes are prime numbers that differ only by two units. For example, three and five are twin primes. Remember, a prime number is a number divisible only by itself in one. Three and five are both prime numbers, and they differ only by two. So this pair is considered a pair of twin primes. Another example would be 11 and 13. Now twin primes have some mystery about them. The twin primes conjecture, which has never been proved, is that there are infinitely many pairs of twin primes. What has been proved is that there are infinitely many primes, but we're not sure if there are infinitely many twin primes. But we just think it's very likely. If you're asked to find a pair of twin primes between a pair of numbers, here are some things to keep in mind. First of all, you only need to check odd numbers because we know that all even numbers are divisible by two and then therefore are not prime. So in this example where we're asked to find one pair of twin primes between 135 and 145, we would need to check 137, 139, 141, and 143. Any pair of these could be twin primes, but all we have to do is confirm whether they're prime or not to know if we have a pair of twin primes. So let's check to see if the number 137 is prime or composite. Composite just means it's divisible by a number other than one or itself. To check if 137 is prime or composite, we're going to methodically check if it's divisible by any primes up to a certain number. There is a little trick that you can use to limit the amount of work that you have to do quite a bit. You only have to check primes that are up to the square root of the number. So the square root of 137 is approximately 11.7. So we only have to check prime numbers up to 11 in this case. It's possible that 137 is div divisible by a larger prime, larger than 11, but it would have to be multiplied by a smaller one. So we only have to check these five primes. We also can disregard the number two because we're not looking at any even numbers. And we can easily check to see if it's divisible by three by looking at the sum of its digits. One plus three is four plus seven is 11, which is not a uh, multiple of three, so three doesn't go into 137. You might recall also that um, we can check if 137 is divisible by five just by looking at the last digit. It's neither a zero nor a five, so it's not divisible by five either. So really all we need to do is to check if it's divisible by seven and 11. Dividing 137 by seven, we see that seven does not go in evenly. So that means seven is not a factor. Similarly, 11 doesn't go evenly into 137. So from that, we can conclude that 137 is in fact a prime. Now let's check 139. If 139 is prime, then we have found our pair of twin primes. The square root of 139 is 11.8. So using that as a guide, we know we only have to check the primes from two through 11. Since 139 is odd, two will not go in evenly. Since the sum of the digits one, three, and nine adds up to 13, three will not go into 13, so it won't go into 139 either. The divisibility test for a five is checking if the last digit is zero or five, which it's not. So once again, we just need to divide by seven and by 11. Seven doesn't divide evenly into 139, and neither does 11. So we know that 139 is a prime as well. This means that we have found a pair of twin primes between 135 and 145. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video.